Archaeologists are investigating a 7,000-year-old so-called roundel, known as Ronlian Czech, and monumental structure located in the Viner district on the outskirts of Prague, Czech Republic. The ancient Neolithic structure's function is still unknown, but scientists are hopeful that more research will clarify why the monumental structures were built and who and how they were used. The excavated roundel is large, about 180 feet, 55 meters, in diameter, or about as long as the Leaning Tower of Pisa is tall, Radio Prague International reported. And while it is too early to say anything about the people building this roundel, it's clear that they were part of the stroked pottery culture, which flourished between 4900 B.C. and 4400 B.C. Yaroslav Rydki, a spokesperson for the Institute of Archaeology of the Czech Academy of Sciences, IAP, and an expert on the Czech Republic's roundels. Roundels are large circular Neolithic structures that were built between 4600 and 4900 BC. They are therefore far older than England's Stonehenge or the Egyptian pyramids, making them the oldest monumental structures in all of Europe. However, these intriguing ancient structures are extremely well preserved. Most people in the West have heard of Stonehenge in England, which is thought to have been built between 300 BC and 2000 BC and some may have heard of Newgrange, 3200 BC, in Ireland. But very few people know about Central Europe's roundels. And these Neolithic circular enclosures have secrets to reveal. Miroslav Kraus, director of the roundel excavation in the district of Viner on behalf of the IAP, said that revealing the structure could give them a clue about the use of the building. Researchers first learned about the Viner roundel's existence in the 1980s, when construction workers were laying gas and water pipelines, according to Radio Prague International, but the current dig has revealed the structure's entirety for the first time. So far, his team has recovered pottery fragments, animal bones and stone tools in the ditch fill, according to Ricky. Carbon dating organic remains from this roundel excavation could help the team pinpoint the date of the structure's construction and possibly link it with a Neolithic settlement discovered nearby. The people who made stroked pottery ware are known for building other roundels in the Bohemian region of the Czech Republic, Ritke said. Their sedentary farming villages located at the intersection of contemporary Poland, eastern Germany, and the northern Czech Republic consisted of several longhouses, which were large, rectangular structures that held 20 to 30 people each. But the knowledge of building of roundels crossed the borders of several archaeological cultures, Ritke noted. Different communities built roundels across Central Europe. Roundels were not well-known ancient features until a few decades ago, when aerial and drone photography became a key part of the archaeological toolkit. But now, archaeologists know that roundels are the oldest evidence of architecture in the whole of Europe, Ridke told Radio Prague International earlier this year. Viewed from above, roundels consist of one or more wide, circular ditches with several gaps that functioned as entrances. The inner part of each roundel was likely lined with wooden poles, perhaps with mud plastering the gaps, according to Radio Prague International. Hundreds of these circular earthworks have been found throughout Central Europe, but they all date to a span of just two or three centuries. While their popularity in the late Neolithic is clear, their function is still in question. In 1991, the earliest known roundel was found in Germany, also corresponding to the stroked pottery culture. Called the Gosek Circle, it is 246 feet, 75 meters in diameter and had a double wooden palisade and three entrances. Because two of the entrances correspond with sunrise and sunset during the winter and summer solstices, one interpretation of the Gosek Circle is that it functioned as an observatory or calendar of sorts, according to a 2012 study in the journal Archaeological Papers of the American Anthropological Association. Ridke preferred a more general interpretation of the Viner structure, noting that roundels probably combine several functions, the most important being socio-ritual, he told Live Science. It is likely that roundels were built for gatherings of a large number of people, perhaps to commemorate events important to them as a community, such as rites of passage, astronomical phenomena or economic exchange. Given that the people who built roundels had only stone tools to work with, these roundel sizes are quite impressive, most commonly, about 200 feet 60 meters in diameter, or half the length of a football field. But little is known about the people themselves, as very few burials have been found that could provide more information about their lives seven millennia ago. After three centuries of popularity, roundels suddenly disappeared from the archaeological record around 4600 BC. Archaeologists do not yet know why the roundels were abandoned. 
but considering over one quarter of all roundels found to date are located in the Czech Republic, future research similar to the excavation at Viner may eventually help solve the mystery of the roundels. The Vino roundel research is expected to continue until the end of September. Archaeologists previously discovered a Neolithic settlement northeast of the roundel that had been in use for 300 to 400 years. Image credit. Institute of Archaeology of the Czech Academy of Sciences.